What is up guys, Maoni here from MaoGT back again with another video, and I've got an interesting video for you guys that I didn't expect to make, but here it is. So I got to go to the Apple Store today and get some hands-on time with the iPhone 10. so in comparison between the 8 and the 10, and uh, uh, long story short, I'm pretty pleased with my experience with the 10. It's a very premium feeling phone. It's about the same size as the 8, as you can see kind of in this picture. You can also see the differences you're getting in the display. Um, so I did get to use the gestures. I got to try the new swipe up gesture, all the new um, functions with the side button. But I lost all that footage, so I won't be able to show it to you. So we'll just uh, we'll just deal with these couple pictures that I took of the phone. So uh, holding the 10, like I said, it's it feels really great in the hand. Uh, you've got stainless steel sides instead of aluminum, like on the 8, and uh, it definitely, definitely makes a difference when you're holding it in the hand. It's a bit slippery, it's more slippery, but uh, it still feels good in the hand. As you can see between the 8 and the 10, the 10 is a bit thicker and the camera module protrudes a little bit more. It's also a bit shinier, and they're roughly the same size, but the 10 is, again, a little bit bigger. Uh, but they feel about the same in the hand. Um, Grip-wise, again, the 10 is a little more slippery. Here is some foot, here's a picture of the two phones on the back. This is both in the space gray color. And from this picture, it does look like the color on the 8 is just a bit darker, but in person, both colors look exactly the same. You can see we've got the vertical camera placement, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a 7 Plus um, to compare to these two phones as well, so I just had the 8 and the 10. So in this next picture here, you can see, you can really see um, that full 5.8 inch display um, compared to the 4.7 inch one on the iPhone 8. You can see how the picture pretty much fills the entire phone on the iPhone 10, and how on the iPhone 8, uh, it's only like a small portion, and you can really notice those bezels. Now in the time that I was using the phone, the notch really didn't bother me. I actually really, really liked having the notch there. It, kind of gives the display this character that the 7 doesn't, or the 7 and the 8 don't have. So here is a quick video of me setting up Face ID. This was the only video that I was able to keep. So Face ID is pretty simple to set up. You've seen it in other videos, I'm sure. You rotate your head twice in the camera, and uh, it's all set up. So in the demo, it just lets you recognize, um, check, like, check the speed of Face ID, and it works pretty well. So this is just uh, another picture that I took. It serves two purposes. One, it really shows you the um, the screen to body ratio. And another thing that it shows you is a bug that's in their demo software. So you can see it says pay with Touch ID, but there's no Touch ID on this particular iPhone. But um, again, it also serves to show the, uh, the screen to body ratio in that notch. Then you can also see the bar at the bottom that you can swipe up on to get to the home screen. So all in all, I really did enjoy my iPhone 10 experience. Is it worth $1,000? That depends on you and your wallet. But uh, honestly, if I had the money, I think I would buy one. It's definitely Apple's uh, premium iPhone. So if you guys want to see more, I might be going back. Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.